Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so if you're new to my channel, my name is Naz. I'm a holistic health and nutrition coach and I would love you to subscribe and join the family. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys what I eat in a day as I am in my third trimester. I'm also going to share with you, uh, share with you how I pamper the product that I use. I'm not really going to emphasize on that, but it's pretty much a relaxed day for me. So I'm just going to show you guys what I do. So just to remind you guys, first of all, I'm following a ketogenic diet, which is a high fat, low carb, moderate amount of protein diet. So I always start my day with uh, bulletproof coffee. So I'm not really going to tell you what I do because I mean like I start my day with this drink pretty much every day and you've seen me doing this a couple of times in my previous videos. Uh, so here I'm just mixing basically a decaf with MCT powder, some monk fruit sugar. I'm also sh um, adding a little bit of almond milk and of course some grass fed butter and we're trying to high, higher our fat here. So that's pretty much my breakfast. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I am a high proponent of the ketogenic diet. I do the promotion of this diet. It's an amazing diet. I was not able to follow it uh, during uh, my first and second uh, trimester because of course, you know, um, there's hormones and I had food diversion, so it was pretty hard for me. Uh, but now I'm back um, at it and trust me, I do feel the benefit. I sleep better, I have less back pain. Um, if you guys want me to do a video on this, all on the ketogenic diet while pregnant and the benefits, I uh, will definitely film it for you guys. Let me know. Um, but this is an amazing diet, um, even for the baby, uh, because Believe it or not, when you're pregnant, your body actually produces ketones, um, more ketones because uh, for the baby development and especially for the baby's brain. So it's really good for the baby. And I, as the mother, also feel the difference. I feel amazing. I don't feel miserable. And I do feel the difference when I'm doing keto and when I'm not doing keto while pregnant. So yeah so right now i'm just doing my electrolytes drink when you're doing a ketogenic diet you have to drink electrolytes because you do lose a lot of minerals um, and that's really just um, in the beginning phase um, if you do ketogenic for like a year you don't really have to up your electrolytes but um, because I'm on and off, I have to drink electrolytes. So it's basically electrolyte powder with ice, water, and lemon because I just like the taste of lemon and water. And that's it. I just blend this, uh, mix this, and then I drink this. Um, I make sure to drink three liters of water every day, of course. So here I'm just showing you the first homemade mask that I'm making. Um, I'm not sharing a lot in this video um, about skincare just because I mean like my skin is going through its transition. I have a lot of redness because of dairy and you guys know how I am highly sensitive to dairy and gluten. That's why I coming back to ketogenic diets is really good for me. I do a dairy free or low dairy ketogenic diet if I can say it like that so um, that's why I'm not really showing my face but I'm mixing basically collagen plus matcha and matcha if you're Somali it really smells like alen um, that's how we call it in Somali but um, I bought this 
mix to actually drink it but it was not pleasant so I just decided to put it on my skin so I just removed the mask and now I'm gonna use this I just wanted to show you guys sorry I'm not wearing any hijab right now but I wanted to show you guys the consistency like do you see how like it's like jelly jelly because they use aloe vera so I really like it and it foams really well it doesn't leave your skin dry so I'm gonna be using this oh, let me add some water. Well, I can't really foam it with one hand. <laughs> it's pretty tricky. But I really like the consistency, guys. And I'm going to be show uh, using this to basically uh, get rid of the dead skin on my face and put a cream and that's it. So this is my second dish of the day. Um, so it's basically a soup. Um, I already shared the recipe so you can check it out. Um, and on uh, one of my videos that I will put in a link down below. And of course I like to make my house smell like a spa. So I'm turning on um, my um, air diffuser. So I'm just adding a little bit of peppermint not a lot because it is pretty strong so I'm just gonna put this on and it's just gonna make the house smell so fresh basically like a spa Okay hey guys, so here are all the ingredients we need. So the keto bread are calling for nutrition, nutritional yeast, some almond flour, salt, baking uh, powder, some apple cider vinegar, some yeast. This, I always have trouble pronouncing this, but it's psyllium husk <laughs> and three egg whites. So I'm still gonna preserve the egg, uh, the egg yolk, of course. And you will need a baking sheet. And I already turned on my uh, oven, uh, 350 Fahrenheit. So yeah, let's try this new recipe. Bismillah.
I just want to show you guys how it looked like so far. It looks pretty good. I mean, there's like 17 minutes left. Um... Hey guys, so we're gonna check on our bread. Bismillah. It actually looks pretty good. Um, so I did not leave it for 55 minutes. I only left it for 48. So 40, 45 is enough actually. So I'm gonna remove it. I'm pretty proud of myself guys. First time doing this and I mean it feels like a bun. I'm just gonna wait for this to cool down and I'm gonna cut it open. Keto bread, that's so exciting. Okay guys, so clearly I should have kept it longer in the oven because the middle was kind of raw, not raw, but not baked. So I cut them uh, open and then now it looks fine. Let me break one for you. It's actually not bad. For the for a first try, it's not bad. Uh, so I'm gonna eat this with butter, peanut butter, jam, anything. And then I'm gonna perfect this recipe and share it when um yeah, when I perfect it. So here I'm sharing with you guys my uh, last dish. Actually, I'm going to eat one last dish at the end of the day that I forgot to film. But basically, this is the bun that I made, the keto bun, with some homemade guacamole, two slices of smoked salmon, and my favorite green tea matcha uh, Starbucks drink. And I'm just going to read right now my favorite book um, that I'm reading right now, actually. It's called Real Food for Pregnancy. It's it's from my favorite dietitianist and nutritionist. Her name is Lili's Nicole. Um, it's really a nice book. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next video.